So one minor friction point I found with Storybook is inside of the storybook index.js file where we have to configure all of our stories. Basically, anytime we have a new component, a new story, we need to go ahead and update the stories thing. It's not a big deal, but it is something to you can forget or just confuses somebody looking forward. So rather than dealing with this, I like to completely avoid it. And I found this cool package called React Native Storybook Loader. So what we'll do is I've actually gone ahead ahead of time and I've killed the storybook server and the React Native Packager. And what I'm going to do is say yarn add uh, React Native Storybook Loader dash forward slash capital D, or rather dash capital D. And then we can install this as a dev dependency. Use NPM if you prefer, it doesn't matter. And then what we want to do is inside of this uh, storybook slash index.js, we'll go ahead and import load stories from dot forward slash story loader. And we can take load stories and replace these requires inside of our configure function. Now story loader doesn't exist yet. That's going to be an automatically generated file. And to automatically generate this, we're going to go into our package.json and we're going to create a new script in here called pre-storybook. This is just something Storybook knows to call uh, before it starts everything. And inside of here, we're going to call rnstl, so React Native Storybook Loader. And this is something, a command that's being exposed by the React Native Storybook Loader uh, file. And if I save this, and then I go to my terminal and run yarn run storybook again, we can see it's now generating this dynamic storybook file list. And if we go back to our text editor, we can see we've now got the storyloader.js and create this file for us. However, there's no stories in here yet. There's one additional piece of configuration that we need to do uh, to get it to work. So going back to our package.json and then basically at the bottom of this file, we're going to create a new property on here called config. And then we're going to have React Native Storybook Loader. And we just need to tell it where uh, our stories are and what they should be looking for. So I'm going to say search dir, so search directory. We're going to pass an array in there. And all of our stories are going to be in dot forward slash app. We're also going to add a pattern in here to tell it uh, what pattern should it look for to find our stories. And we can say star star forward slash star dot stories dot js. And basically this is going to look for any file that ends in the stories dot js. If it ends in dot stories dot js, that means it is a storybook file that we should load into this. So trying this once again, we can run yarn run storybook. It's gone ahead, generated this. It's find one file matching that pattern. If we look inside of Storybook, Story Loader, we can see it's actually going to go ahead and require that directory for us. So if we restart the React Native Packager, refresh the app, refresh this, you can actually see that our stories are showing up here. And basically as we add these different stories for this form we're going to be building, we don't have to update that story thing. So it's just a small thing, but it is a convenient thing when working with Storybook to just automatically get our uh, stories loaded for us.